I guess this one was a success. Wow, I'm impressed, Bon. I got a good feeling. An alliance between Dalmasca and the Empire. Reason tells me tis the only course. We must avoid a wasting war with the Empire at all cost. Yet I fear I could not bear the shame, had I but the strength. A shame, perhaps, for me and for you. But for Dalmasca, it is hope. And you can just accept this, can you? After Vane's ruse, I had abandoned hope for honor. Yet, never did I forget my nightly vows. If I could protect but one person from war's horror, then I would bear any shame. I would bear it proudly. I could not defend my home. What is shame to me? My people hate the Empire. They will not accept this. There is hope. Right? Don't encourage Hope for a future where we can join that, hands I as brothers. <laughs> Larsa, please. This is serious. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be Larsa. Somebody's got to put him in his place. The Senate may play at intrigue, but Lord Vane is not one to be brought down easily. The entire military waits upon his orders, from the War Council down to the rank and file. What better blade than he to strike down the enemies of the Empire? Your Honor reminds me of Zet two years since. He, too, put his trust in Lord Vane's strength and what became of him. Gone without a trace since Napodis. I will not hear you malign Judge Sect. He was a noble warrior. Or do you think his trust in Lord Vane ill-placed? Vane took two of his own brother's lives. He is ruthless beyond contempt. Ruthless, you say? Would he were more so? He gives traitors no quarter, be they of his own blood. How fitting for one who would bear the burden of empire. But could we bear him? Zagabath, what of you? Surely you do not believe his brothers were traitors? 
so found His Excellency Lord Gramis, you would do well to mind your tongue, Drace. That matter is long past. Your Honours, a summons. Lord Vane has arrived at the palace. We come at once. Lord Larsa has left for Boromises. He hopes to enlist the aid of the Grand Kiltius in stopping the insurgents. I doubt this will be enough to deter Ondor, but even a slight hindrance to his operations would be welcome. This will delay the Rosarian invasion, and we will have bought much needed time to shore up our defenses. Just as His Excellency had hoped. No matter the result, I'm pleased with the young Lord's progress. I can already see the stunned faces of those mud-witted senators. The fools think a child emperor's strings easy to pull from the shadows. But they will find that Lord Larsa is no puppet. Yes, the senators would be most pleased with a puppet for an emperor. Recall, Drace, how the Senate fears and despises Lord Vane's ability. When they realize the truth, that Lord Larsa is no docile lamb to be shepherded, they will bare their teeth and devour him. You are right. I shall speak on this matter with His Excellency at once. Gabranth, it falls to us to protect Lord Larsa. Are we agreed? Aye. Yeah. Yeah. 
What is it? The jungle denies us our passage. What have we done? We? No. I. What's that mean? How are we supposed to get through that? Making an appearance. Come on, I, uh... I'm talking over here. I thought you'd left for good. Hey! Our choices are few. Friend? Balthier! This is as much for you as it is me. Oh? You are ill at ease. The Nethersite troubles you. You've let your eyes betray your heart. 
Right. What are you doing? <sighs> Soon you will learn. We go to seek aid of the Viera who dwell ahead. I bet they'll be glad to see you after so long. I am unwelcome, an unsought guest in their wood. In the village ahead, you will find her, Mjern. Bring her to me. She will know why you call her.
Hey, Mjern lives here, doesn't she? We're here to see her. You will leave at once. It is not allowed for humans to walk on these grounds. We'll go as soon as we've seen Mjern. If you can find her. We're not leaving until you let us see her. Hmm. Fine then. We'll look for her ourselves. Ah. I've heard the voice of the wood. She says Mjern is not in the village. Jyote, where has she gone? Why do you ask? The wood tells us where she has gone. Or can you not hear her? You cannot. Your ears are dull from hearing their harsh speech, I think. Viera, who have abandoned the wood, are Viera no longer. Mjörn, too, has left her embrace. And you forsake them in turn? It is the will of the village. Viera must live always with the wood. So is the green word, and so is our law. We'll let you worry about keeping your laws. Just do us a favor and stay out of our way. We'll find her ourselves. Our sister has left the wood and gone west. She wanders warrens among men who hide themselves in clothes of cold iron. Thus to me has the wood spoken. The Viera may begin as part of the wood, but the wood is not the only end we may choose. The same words I heard fifty years ago. Not bad, Vaughn. Didn't think we'd get any information out of that one. So then, what was she saying about men in a warren? The Henna Magicite mines. Maybe that's what she meant. 
They lie in Bangor, south of the Osmoan Plain. The entire region is a colony of the Arcadian Empire. There would be soldiers. Is that a problem? Let's move. Fran. Yes? I was wondering what Yote said, you know? About how you said the same thing 50 years ago? Your point? Uh, how old were you again? Uh, nice fun. Oh, surprisingly rude. Try to grow up, please.